Now at this point in our API platform implementation, we can get a single album, we can get a collection of albums, we can post in a new album, and it would be super useful if we could also update an existing album. Now as a heads up, in the Symfony 4 JSON API and Symfony 4 FOSREST bundle implementations, we implemented both put and patch. Now the API platform implementation will bypass patch. However, patch is supported and automatically configured if you're not customizing the item operations when you use raw JSON. Anyway, let's implement put. As we've manually defined our item operations, at present we only have the get item operation defined. Again, both get for item operations and get for collection operations are mandatory. Everything else is optional. Adding in put though is easy enough. Again, the format should look very similar to you at this point. After doing this, if we check the output of a debug router, we can see our new route. And then we try this out in our test and we almost get a pass. We're expecting a 204, but we're getting back a 200. So whilst anything in the 200 range is a good status code, we're asking explicitly for a 204. And of course that doesn't match 200. Now 200 and 204 are both legitimate responses for a put request. In our Symfony 4 JSON API and Symfony 4 FOSREST bundle implementations, my preference was to return a 204, and this means no content. And as covered, what's the point of returning any content when the person sending in the request not only knows all the existing and new data, but they also knew the exact ID in order to send the request in the first place. There's not a lot else that we can tell them that they don't already know. Now the flip side to this is that we simply return the full resource and that's what the API platform choose to do. Now there's no right or wrong here as far as I'm aware, it's personal preference. But this does throw a spanner in our BHAT test works. Now yet again, do we update the tests and change the previous implementations or do we write a separate test for JSON-LD? I don't have a definitive answer here so I'm unfortunately just going to write another test. It's basically the same as before but this time we expect that 200 response code. We do get a pass, which is great. So we're gonna move on to delete. 